Hello guys, in this video you will be watching couple of morning trades that I took today that is on 19th of May. So friends from the morning itself I was having a negative view due to the increasing NPA and the last minute dip happened yesterday that is on expiry day. So because of that I was having a negative view and so that I went for a put trade and I could capture around 50,000 in that. Then I went for a call trade and I gained in that too. So guys, uh, whenever I get an opportunity to trade on both sides, I'll go for that. It's not something like I have to stick on to any particular side to trade. I believe in my setup and indicators. And if I get an opportunity to trade on both sides, I'll go for that. Here also you can see that first I took a put trade. Then I took a call trade. Then again, I took another put trade. And in all these, I have uh, made decent profit also. So uh, you can see one more thing that everything we are scalping. Scalping means something that we have to enter into the trade with huge quantity and then we have to exit quickly with whatever profit we gained. So if there, but if there is momentum, then we will try to ride that momentum. Otherwise, we will exit very quickly with whatever profit we gained. So here also you can see that. Then after these trades, I was waiting for opening range breakout and finally I closed my day with 3,30,000 profit. And the 3,30,000 profit video will be uploading tomorrow with my entire trading setup. And here in this video, you'll be watching how I take opening trades. Okay, now let's enjoy the video. So Bank Nifty is opening at 43,930. So I look for 43,900 puts and 44,000 calls. So this is 40 Delta. I will go with 40 Delta on Monday and Friday. That is previous hundreds for puts and next hundreds for calls. So I have taken June expiry. Sorry. So I'll change to May expiry. 43,900 put. That is the previous hundred. Which will give you 40 delta and 44,000 call. May. Which will give 40 delta. So the previous hundreds for puts and the next hundreds for calls. So these are the two strike prices that I selected. I select the strike price looking at the support chart. So Monday and Friday 40 delta, Tuesday and Wednesday 50 delta which is at the money and Thursday 60 delta which is in the money. So I look for a dip considering yesterday's down move and I'm having a negative view for today. So I'll focus more uh, like most of the trades on put side. There can be a big dip which we can expect today. So this is the level. Uh, if the price comes to that blue line, then I will be going for put. Till then I won't be taking any trades. Once I get the puts or the price at that blue line, which is yesterday's VWAP, I will be going for put i'm ready with my put strike i'm not trying call because my view is negative <clears throat> considering yesterday's move and banks uh, npas etc the npas has increased and everything is slightly bearish so it is coming to that level so i'm taking a uh, trade it touched that line which i have marked you can see that so i got it at 300 It is bouncing from 200 EMA, but um, if uh, there is a move, it can come and fill the gap and it can come down also. Added 500 quantities. So now I am with 1900 quantities. So this is the blue line which I have marked. This is where I have taken the trade, which is yesterday's VWAP. This is the best area where we can expect a rejection. My stop loss is just above uh, that line. It is already giving me around 25,000 profit. I look for something like 50,000 in this trade with a small quantity. Considering it's Friday. Once it come to 200 EMA, it can take a small support. So that is where I can exit. So I can take a small call trade. As it is Friday, initially there would be moves on both sides. And then after that, I am looking for a down move today considering yesterday's move and volume and open interest which has been shaped up my view is negative it can break yesterday's glow also i think 
NPAs are increasing, which is a major concern for banks now. So this trade, the stop loss will be 280, which is just above the line that I've marked. The first candle high. It is giving 25,000 profit now. Now I look for at least 50,000 profit. I exit some at 312 as it is coming close to the pivot and 200 EMA. I look for some more exit if it touch that line which is a pivot line. The profit is 30,000 now. It's a very good trade. The views are turn out to be correct. It can even fall steeper or deeper. Looking at the data, it is uh, 36,000 profit now, 40,000. There can be a small up move from 200 EMA and then it break. This is the support level. Now, if it comes to the super trend, I'll try to add more. I've added more here at 304. I'm still looking for a down move. First, it will break, break the 200 EMA. Then it can come and fill the gap. It has to fill the gap. So that's where I can look for the call trade. If it comes and fill the gap. Otherwise, only put. So that's a very good rejection which we are getting. Look at that rejection. It's a very good rejection candle. It can give us a target easily. It is coming to 40,000 plus now. Very good candle. If that line is touched, then I will exit some quantities. The gap up might be used to sell off today. So the first candle high is not yet broken. So this gap up is like looking like uh, it is for selling off. VIX is normal as of now. There is nothing to panic as of now. But considering NPA and everything like NPAs are increasing, NPA is known performing assets. If the EMI is not paid for 90 days or more, uh, 90 days or more, a loan can become NPA, which is not a good sign for the so banks. So this is 200 EMA taking support there. If that break or if the gap will be filled, so we can actually expect a target till that gap. I'll exit some here at 315. So this is my style of trading. I keep entering and exiting based on my risk appetite, based on my setup and uh, based on my conviction. I'm exiting some more at 320. It is coming to PSR level. I've exited some more at 315 as it is bouncing, but from there it can get a rejection again. Yeah, I made a mistake, should not have exited. Yeah, now it is 325. I've exited this 400 also at 324. We are done with 41,600 profit. I started at 916 and done by 920. So just five minutes. We got it in uh, 293. And uh, we got at 3.23. So we captured 30 points in this 5 minutes. And we are done with the profit of 41,000. So just took this 5 minutes for me to make this 40,000. I'm going to take a call trade now as it is coming to the support area. 
look at that support to 20 ma support is there vw ma support is there so we can expect a pounce here we are already with the profit of 50000 i've placed the order at 235 and 238 and we will get it easily 54000 is the profit now since it's a friday i'm almost done with my target so that 235 we got yesterday we made a profit of around 2 3.2 lakhs so which is my 3 days target so 50000 would be good for me today we got 238 so 58000 is the profit now 41 on the put side 17 on the call side total 58000 it is taking a support there still we can expect a rejection from here this is this vwma support so we took trade uh, at vwma going for a put again here at 300 900 quantity expecting a rejection from this level or or the super trend or the yesterday's vwap level this my last trade as it is uh, trading in this range 307 is the target i am giving and i have got this so we are done with 64000 profit i think i'm almost done for the day it it just started at 915 and it is 923 now if you see 923 is the time that is the last exit so it was 8 minute trade and we made 65000 so it's possible if if it is possible for me if i can do it you can also do it and everyone can do it so 64000 have done you can see the orders everything is very clear so this is the rejection in orders you can see here so the last trade is at uh, 923 we were going with multiple trades both sides first put then call then put i'll just mark this opening range breakout here which is nothing but the first candle high and low for 5 minute candle high so this is the high and uh, i'll mark the low also if there is a breakout or breakdown of any of this then i will enter into any any of this i hope it will be a breakdown today considering the data they will come and fill the gap this is the range this range the line i have marked the bottom and the top i will not be taking any single uh, trade right at this range no trades at all those are the no trade zone for me absolutely no trade here I will enter into the trade only when they break this higher low. So that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.